everyone, welcome back to another video. So in today's video then, I will be doing a review of the Blast Golf Sensor. Now this is a sensor that's designed for you to be able to take to the driving range, use at home, use on the golf course, but to give you really good data for your practice. So you'll get things like club head speed, tempo, face rotation. And the really cool thing about this sensor is it goes all the way from a putter right to the driver. And I'm going to talk through each area with you in today's video. I'll also be speaking through the app that comes with it and a few of the features on there. And I'll be showing you footage of me actually using the app. So if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you are a returning visitor to the channel, uh, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And then if you're enjoying this sort of content. So first off then, let's chat a little bit about what comes in the box. So we have the box itself, the wireless charging pad, the sensor, and then the two grip caps. So these are different sizes. We've got an oversize and a standard. Now the sensor itself just clips in the top of these, which is really easy to do. The oversized grip is for those of you with larger putter grips, allowing it to fit on. And then you have the standard size, which is this one here, that simply slips over the top of a club. So the sensor itself, as you can see, is tiny. This is it actually in one of the grip caps. So this is currently flashing green, which means it's ready to go. That is ready to record some data. All you have to do when you first get the sensor is put it on charge for one and a half hours, and then it's ready to use. Simply download the app, register on the system. It's all completely free. And then you have access to the training area, but also all the feedback that this sensor gives you. There are drills and videos within the app with also help from PGA professionals and tour players. One of the awesome things about this sensor is it's gonna bring practice and data everywhere. So on the golf course, in your living room, at home, or on the range. So this is the generation three sensor, and this is coming in at 179.99. So a couple of cool features. When you're hitting long game shots, it's got smart video capture. So it records and automatically clips the slow motion video of each swing with selected metrics overlaid on that video, which I think is a really cool feature. And the list of metrics that it offers are extensive. Putting, we've got things from speed control, such as tempo, backstroke time, forward stroke time, impact stroke length, backstroke length, loft change, and then total stroke time. We've also got direction as well. So what I really like about this, we've got the backstroke rotation, forward stroke rotation. We see how much your putter face is rotating in the stroke, but also the most important bit, which is the face angle at impact. So you can tell if the putter is opening too much on the way back and not allowing you to square it compared to the rotation on the way through. Minus 1.1, closed. That is a really, really awesome bit of data. Now I'm really lucky, as I'm a coach, I do have access to a sand putt lab. However, it does take me a while to set it up. The thing I've enjoyed most about this is just how quick it is to set up. And if I just have 10 minutes or so and want to do some putting, this has been great. And certainly when my putting's not being great for now for a little while, using the sensor for the face rotation, uh, allowing me to see where it is impact has made a massive difference. For bunkers, we're going to get, again, distance control, exactly the same data as in the short game, but amazing then that you can start to collect data from the bunker. What I really like about this sensor, though, is the instant feedback it gives you and how useful that data is to help you improve your game. Whether you're working with a professional, working just on your own on the range, this is going to give you the information you need to make that improvement. If one of the things that you're a little bit worried about is understanding all this data, the great thing is on the app, it gives you the training center, which helps you understand the metrics and you, you get the tips and drills from tour and PGA professionals. One of the things that I personally really like about this, this could add a whole new level of training for you guys at home. This now gives you the opportunity to not just use this on the range, but you could use this in a practice round. You could take this out and say, OK, if I'm not able at the moment to transfer the skills that I'm learning on the range or practice grounds onto the course, let's get some data from each. Let's have a look. Do you still hit up on the driver when you're on the golf course? Do, does your tempo significantly change on that first tee? This is a device that's going to give you that information. Another fun feature with this, and I found this has been great for lessons, 
It's just simple data, like is the club rising up or down when you're hitting the ball? And I've found that when, certainly when I'm getting somebody to use a driver, just having that instant feedback's really helped them. Sometimes showing them all the data on a flight scope doesn't help, but having this to just show that simple data, they found it really useful. One of the features that I really enjoy that you can do with this as well is in practice, you can just do it on practice swings. You don't even need to hit a ball and this thing will give you data and feedback. And that's been great when I've been trying to get a feel with a player. Let's try and hit up on this drive. Let's see what that feels like. There we go, that's up. So it kind of helps us do that without the ball being there. And I think that's really beneficial then to making changes. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to put a link for this product in the description below if you want to check it out or purchase one. There'll be a link down below. I think it's one of those if you're using it for practice and you think it's really going to benefit you, 100% go ahead and get one. So I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you have, make sure to like, leave me a comment below. And then if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. Guys, thanks very much for watching and see you all very soon.